What is one the bear about? That's the question. Right, yeah, that one the bear. Question. It's about colonisation, yeah. yeah. There's a global First Nations culture that people don't quite understand. I think in Australia where folks from Africa, from Canada, from across, you know, the Polynesian islands all share these experiences of colonisation. For me, as a First Nations or as a woman, I wanted to bring that right into the fore, particularly because I'm African diaspora. A lot of our bodies and our culture roots get reappropriated and commodified inside of things like hip hop and media culture. So I wanted to kind of like get into little kids, you know, minds and get critical and um, and interrupt some of that, just what I see as modern day colonization, where the gaze and assimilation. It's assimilation. Yeah, it's like still going on. trying to get that gold star. Don't so when the bear covers all of it, it's like this multi-layered tiramisu allegory. Tiramisu, yummy it is allegory. Actually, it's delicious. Mm. Hip hop was a revolution. It was, oh, yeah. it was a revolution first and foremost. The music that we, we, they created and that we like to create too, came from a place of desperation. It came from a place of needing to be heard, of wanting to be heard and wanting to feel free. Yeah. And the only place you could feel free that was safe for you was pen and paper and that was poetry. And I wanted to create a work that interrupted the current conversation, that kind of put a hold on it and said, hey, young people, Let's, let's undo some of this stuff. For example, um, the way women's bodies are in clips. Uh, big boobs, big butts, big lips. And then we get like white artists doing the same to try and emulate that. People might call that, you know, minstreling or, you know, of course, cultural Biting. Biting other people's fashion and biting. style. We call that biting, because it's not yours to bite, but so, you get it. And there is a big sticky conversation to be had around that. But I also like wanted to unravel it because for me, what little Kim's up to right now, for me, it breaks my heart because it's basically telling young black girls that they're not beautiful mm. because she's such a prominent figure and she now looks white. She's had her skin white and she's had all of this cosmetic surgery done to look very, very different to how she beca began. Mm. Skin whitening's going off in Jamaica again. I wanted to interrupt that shit. Mm. I want to find a way to make work that uh, allows particularly the next generation of queens to redefine themselves outside of a European gaze. One the Bear is black girl magic in 